competition. Uh oh, 11 wants one. There we go. 11. 11 wants one. You better take it. Three's a hog. Oh. Fourteen can't make up her mind. All right. You uh, think you can clean up your beer bottles? What's that mess over there? Those are from tonight. That doesn't count. Why are you wearing a helmet? Because you always say I need a helmet. To protect your melon, not your eyes, you moron. I can see just fine. I think you lacked oxygen for about the first five minutes after you were born. Good Monday evening, everybody. I would suppose you guys are wondering what the heck I'm up to now. We got those pieces from the banner that we took off in a previous video. If you didn't see that video, jump over and check that one out. I'll try to pop the link up above. I also scrounged up a piece of steel grate. Heavy duty steel grate. Tonight we're going to start working on a torch cart. Um, so I have a set of propane torches here. I don't have oxygen acetylene. I have oxygen and propane. So obviously your 100 pound propane cylinder is much larger than a typical acetylene tank. Most of your commercially available torch carts will not accept a 100 pound propane cylinder. It just doesn't work. So we're going to go ahead and build one for it. So let's get to work. Traditionally, most of these are a, a stamped piece of steel. Um, I want something heavy. A 100 pound propane tank is pretty darn heavy anyway. So, this is going to be nice, heavy duty. It's actually got a little bit of grip on it. Keep those tanks from sliding around. These are the belt guides that we pulled out of the baler. And uh, what I'm going to do here, turn around and show you here. I got this. This end down here, and we're going to take. Go ahead, and take that off. The idea is to stand these up on here. Up on the rail. And one thing I want is I want it to be nice and tall to begin with, and I want a flat back on it. The reason I want a flat back on it is because if you ever tried to pull a torch cart into the tip up the tailgate of your truck by yourself, it's got that stupid little basket back here for your torch tips and all that garbage. You ain't pulling that thing in the back of the truck by yourself. All right, there's our torch cart. We're halfway there. Um, you can see we got a frame here. We got the heavy duty grate on the bottom. We use those belt guides to build our entire frame. And that's a uh, that's quarter inch wall pipe. One inch diameter, quarter inch wall. Nice and heavy duty. Um, you can see on the sides here, this is where I put the 
a bracket on to wrap the hose around. So that way it's not wrapped on the back. It's not wrapped over the handle. Um, spin it around here. You can see we got a flat back on here. Our handles are tipped back at a little bit of an angle so it makes it easier when you tip that back for guiding. Um, I, thought I, I thought I had a set of wheels for this, but I knew it, do not. Um, I had a couple of steel wheels that I thought were gonna work perfect on this thing. Turns out one's a little bit bigger than the other and one has a, like a three quarter inch axle in it. The other one has like an inch and a half axle in it. So we're gonna figure out our tire situation and then we'll come back and finish this thing off. We got a couple other brackets we gotta put on here as well. So it's about 10.30 guys. I got evening chores to do. I gotta load the wood stove, check on the cows, give them some water and all that stuff. I hope everyone's having a great night. We'll see you guys again next time.